wonderful friends. Um, I'm very happy to be speaking to you right now. And um, as I make this video, I had um, a couple things in mind um, just a bit ago before I started recording. Um, and uh, I just wanted to share, I guess, some personal things with you a bit. Um, so, um, uh, you know, I've been kind of going through some stuff with a um, relationship um, and seeking clarity on that and trying to make the best decision and trying to, um, all of that stuff. And um, it seems, you know, like I said a few days ago, I've kind of come to the place where I know the right decision. And um, I made that decision and it was to um, end things. And the other person responded very well and um, I, but they wanted to continue staying in touch and things like that and continuing to do some of the things that we used to do. And I just did not feel, um, I did not feel that, you know what I mean? I did not feel that that was um, good. And so um, I just had a hard time thinking about that and like con con um, conceptualizing that, I guess, or just, you know, comprehending, processing that. And so it was really kind of like, oh man, no, I don't want to do this, you know? I don't want to do this. I don't want to go down this road. And I was just confused because, um, you know, it, it's so hard when you break up with someone because you feel like you're incompatible and they have said the same things to you and you guys have just butted heads. And then when you try to say goodbye, they're like, oh, well, actually, you know, do you mind still staying around? And like, <laughs> you know, so it's very confusing. It's, it's kind of count counterintuitive a little bit. It can mess with you because deep down, I do, I, I really like that person. I do really like her. But at the end of the day, there's just, there's like, and I have, I have like this much hope. I have a lot of hope. Like I have a lot of faith and I have a lot of hope. And in other words, I have hope for people. You know what I'm saying? Like if you're Jeffrey Dahmer, I have hope for you. You know, I have that much hope. And so I know people can change. Like when it comes to people changing, for some reason I have an unlimited factor of hope and, and faith that that person can change and that person can um, turn a corner and, and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and so that came to the forefront and I was like, well, you know, thinking like, well, what if this person changes? And it's so nice to hear her say these things and like, man, she's so nice and blah, blah, blah. And you know, all these things like that. So it was kind of confusing, you know, because I'm like, here I am. I think I've, I think I figured out what I need to do. I really do I think I figured out what I need to do. And cause at least I make some deep personal changes that are kind of, they are borderline changing who I am, then it's not really gonna work with me and her. Um, and I just don't, I, I've spent a long time of my life before um, in a relationship with someone who I ended up marrying, um, my first wife, um, way back in the day. And um, I ended up having to do a lot of things the way she wanted me to do them. And I, which also kind of led to me having to try to be like the person she wanted me to be. And that can get into some really dangerous, uncomfortable, miserable territory. Because as soon as you stop being yourself for someone else, and you start being who someone needs you to be, it can be, you, there's, it can just be, um, you have to be careful because you don't want to get to the point where you don't even know yourself anymore. You don't even recognize yourself anymore. And you just feel like you're kind of a ghost or a shell of yourself, like you've given yourself away and you did it for this person and now you exist to please them. And that's kind of the place that I had gotten to, unfortunately. And it can happen very um, easily if you're not careful about things. And I have learned over the years since that relationship I've battled with it, I've wrestled with it, but I have kind of learned, you know, that you need to be yourself. And um, while it is exciting when someone likes you, someone's interested in you, it's it's exciting when you're getting to know someone 
and you want to like make them happy, you want to like please them, I guess, but you just have to be careful because when it comes to compromising who you truly are, you have to be careful. And um, I know that if things would were to, you know, work out with me and her, it would require that. And that's the thing, I just couldn't, and that was a tough pill to swallow, because I just did not want to believe that at all. I did not want to believe that. I couldn't believe that. I, I couldn't, I couldn't believe that. I had to believe that there was a chance that, you know, we could work things out, and that, you know, we could, we could settle our differences, and that we could, um, you know, we see things differently, and we disagree about things, but, you know, maybe we can talk about those things. Maybe we can work them out. Maybe we can... You know, why can't we talk about those things? Why can't we, why can't we talk about those things? And it just got to the point where it was like, this is not going to happen. And, um, I, it was a really, like I said, it was a really hard, bitter pill to swallow. You know, it was hard and, um, confusing. I did not want to believe it. I did not want to believe it, but I had to. And, um, you know, it was... Yeah, so it was, it was, this was difficult, but, um, anyway, when she reached out and she was kind of, you know, positive and wanted to still be friends and still wanted to have scripture study and things like that, I was just like, dude, oh man, this is so confusing, and the feelings inside of wanting the relationship started coming back, the feelings of wanting her, or wanting things to work out with her started coming back, and so it was very confusing. And I just told her how I felt. Um, I was like, I'm trying to respond to you. I just can't even respond to you right now. But like, this is this is what I'm feeling. This is what I'm thinking. I just want you to know, I, you know, I'm struggling. And I told her I was like, basically, when I love someone, I love them. I love them hard. And um, it's hard when things don't work out. And it's hard to just kind of just switch back or switch to being friends all of a sudden, or like, you know. I'm kind of one of those people where it's like, if I'm in, I'm in, and if I'm in, I'm in it to win it, like, I'm in it, I'm in it for the long haul, I'm in it, you know, and so it's difficult when something just kind of ends, or when things don't, when things change pace, and it, it also validated a lot of things, a lot of things that I had realized before started coming to the surface again, like, um, along the way, we, we dated for about seven months, and I told her that I loved her, and she just kind of did not know what to say, and so that was kind of a, that was kind of a warning sign, and, um, then eventually got to the point where she was just like, I don't know if I love you, I can't say that I love you, because I don't know if I do, and that just became a thing for a long time, and she's like, and it's like, it's okay, you know, if you can't say that or whatever, but still, it just kind of like, ate at me a little bit, and then it was like, well, I don't want you to tell me that you love me because, you know, I don't know if I love you. And it's just complicated and stuff. And so it just became uncomfortable. And, you know, there were times where I thought, like, well, what's the deal here? Like, you know, well, how do you feel about me? You wouldn't even know. And, you know, she would always just tell me, well, you know, you're really nice. And, you know, I'm so grateful for, for this. And, you know, you've really helped me with this. And, and this and that. And, and not to say anything bad about her. But it was just like, it just kind of always felt like it was like, seriously, like this is like, I just felt cheap. I felt cheap. I felt like, I felt like here I am giving you something and you don't even, you don't care about it and you don't even know if you want it and it seems like you don't even know what you do want and all these kinds of things. So it just felt so, you know, antiquated and from kind of, not from the start, but like, yeah, actually kind of from the start it always felt like I was giving and giving and giving and she was just kind of like well you know I don't know what to tell you <laughs> and so um yeah and that was that was frustrating because we did have a lot of trappings of a really good relationship and potential and things like that like we'd go to the temple all the time and stuff like that but um so that was hard but um you know, after I told her how I felt, or responded to her, I just told her I was having a hard time, I don't know what to tell you about, like, um, you know, continuing to have a friendship and doing scripture study and all this stuff, like, I just don't 
because like I want to I want to be friends with her I don't have a bone in my body that says I hate you and I don't want to know you and I don't want to be your friend that's not me and I don't have you know I don't have a bone in my body that says that you know and um so it was just hard and she responded with a lot and I was just like bro I just can't even make any of this right now I just can't do this right now at all and then after that she sent all these things she sent a voice message and I was like you know, I'm like, okay, like, what the heck is going on? And it was, that was, even without reading it, that was too much to deal with. Because I was just like, what the heck is she going on about? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what, what is she going on about here? What is, what is all this stuff that she's saying? And it's like, we have not, we had problems. We took a break. We agreed to kind of revisit it later. And then I decided it was not good to revisit. I decided it was just better to be done. And now she's going into all these things. And I'm thinking, like, what? So I didn't, I kind of skimmed her message, I, I opened her messages, and I kind of like flicked through them a little bit, because I didn't, I just couldn't go in there and read them all, you know, and, um, but I listened to her voice message, and I was listening to it, and I was like, oh, here we go again, <laughs> it was like, it was like great confirmation, it was what I needed to hear, because it was like, okay, this is the proof that I don't want to do this anymore. That I can't do this anymore. I can't afford to do this. I can't try. I can't afford to try. I can't. I just can't do this anymore. And I don't want and I don't want to do this anymore. And it's weird because like I feel like sometimes this is the way it works for me in relationships. Sometimes this happens where if I love a person enough and it's not, but the relationship's not meant to work out, something will happen, like, it's crazy, like, I, I love people so hard, I guess, and I guess I hold on so hard, that when it comes to something ending, I feel like sometimes God has to pry me off of them, <laughs> or God has to, like, pry me out of the relationship, he has to, like, get a little bit, <laughs> pry me off the, th off the, out of the relationship, and so I feel like it's sometimes, he even has to give me a reason to be so angry with the person or be so frustrated or even to hate them or feel like I hate them um, in order to get me out of there. And it's unfortunate, but um, I feel like that's the way it has to be sometimes. And I'm just sitting here listening to this message going, Oh, oh. no, no, oh, no, no. And, um, and that just really helped me figure things out. And so it was great, you know. <laughs> At the end of the day, it was great. Um, I, you know, I still haven't read all those messages last night and even yesterday and stuff. But just from hearing her message, I was just, just kind of like, oh, I don't want to do this. This is so confusing. I can't even begin. Um, yeah. And like I said about like having hope for people, like I, I definitely sensed that she had some you know, issues or something like that. She just kind of like, that she's really awesome, but I just think that she's kind of, I also think she's kind of crazy in a certain way. Like, I just think that it's like, some of her behavior strikes me as like, it really red flags me really hard, like rubs me the wrong way. And I know she'll say the same thing about me, which which um, frustrates me, I guess, because I don't feel like I'm like that, and it's crazy to me that someone would think that I was, really. But I accept that that's reality, and people are just different, and there are people on both sides of the fence, and they both see things differently, and they both want different things, and they want things differently. And so, yeah, um... Life is too short to be caught up in some kind of confusion, you know? Um, it's it's too short to be in confusion like that. So this really, this, this experience has taught me a lot. It's really helped me and um, I am definitely figuring out what to do <laughs> about it all and figuring out, you know, where to go and um, yeah, it's just, it's been really confusing, and um, I guess it still is confusing in a way, but 
seems like I figured it out. Like, it's just not, it's just not what I want, and it's just not, like, in order for her to be the person I would want to be in a relationship with, um, she would have to change. She would have to change. And I don't want her to change who she is. But, but to be honest, I think in certain ways who she is, certain things about her are very crazy to me. <laughs> and just like, what? <laughs> That's insane. I think that you should talk to somebody about this because I think, and if you are talking to somebody about this, I think they are telling you the wrong things because I think this is insane. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like, what? <laughs> no way, Jose. This is just not cool. You know, this is just not cool at all. So, um, yeah. She, um, she, she's a person who struggles with, with empathy. And I struggle with empathy too. But she kind of like tries to be thoughtful. And she tries to be, um, I don't know, considerate. But she does it in a really weird way. Like, she'll say something really crazy. It's really kind of like, just rubs you the wrong way. And kind of messes with you a bit. Like, what the heck? You know? And like, li like literally deeply messes with you. Like, what the heck? Like, why would you say that? Like, what the heck? Like, oh, great. Wow, you said that now. Okay, great. Thank you. It's like, great. Why did you have to say that? You know? And then she'll go back and kind of say something like, well, you know. Um, you know, I'm not really trying to be mean, or I'm not trying to really hurt your feelings, or I'm not trying to do this. And then she'll go on a really long explanation about how, you know, how she's, where she's really coming from, and what she really means, and all this stuff. And it is kind, and it is considerate to, um, you know, say those kinds of things. And to, um, make sure, it is kind, and it is considerate to try to make sure that the other person's feelings aren't hurt and things like that. But there is like just seeming to me, there's a core, there's just like, uh, I don't know. I don't think I can be with someone who has that much trouble um, considering other people's feelings. You know what I mean? Like, Because in certain ways, it's like you don't have enough empathy to just be normal, a normal person. Is how it feels. It feels like when you, when you, um, I feel like you kind of have to tap into your empathy, and you have to, you know what I mean. I feel like just being a decent human being is treating people the way you want to be treated, and I think that she's doing that. But it's just very strange, and I just don't understand her. I just don't, I don't function the same way that she does, and it's very counterintuitive to me, and very confusing, and, like, I don't understand why, like, how some people can be the way they are, and they end up coming off as really cold and calloused, really rubbing you the wrong way, like, very unempathetic, like, sociopath-level non-empathy, and very confusing with that, and it's just like, what? Like, how, like, this is, I don't understand how you could be this way. I don't understand how you could be this cold, for example, and things like that. And so, those things stood out to me in the past, and they kind of rubbed me, you know, a certain way. It made me feel a certain way. But I never really, um, you know, I never really, I always, I kept trying to, like, yeah, I kept trying to look past it. But, anyway, so, long story short, I gotta get going, but long story short, I just feel like, I'm thankful that I can kind of see the forest for the trees or that I can, I've kind of woken up and smelled the flowers and I'm, I'm glad that I've woken up. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I've woken up out of the illusion basically that things would be good and stuff like that. But anyway, um, yeah. Thanks for watching guys. <laughs>